Hey guys, Dean here from Travel Vids, the place where you get to learn everything you need to know about turning your experiences, your life experiences, into beautiful cinematic videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about making beautiful videos with an iPhone. And I mean literally just an iPhone. No extra accessories, no extra apps, nothing. Just the phone to make videos that look like this. I want to start off by saying something that probably sounds very cliche by now, but I'm going to say it anyway. And that is the best camera is the one you always have on you. iPhones, phones, smartphones, any phone is the camera that you always have on you. At the single swipe, even when your phone's locked, you can get to the camera and start recording. Now, from my experience, that is nine times out of 10, when you're capturing life experiences, the best camera. And this is where the counter arguments begin, because I know what you're thinking, and I would have to agree with you, because the DSLR camera has got better dynamic range, color spectrum, it's got a bigger sensor. Yes, all of it's true, but this truth coin has another side, because making a beautiful cinematic travel video is more about what you film and how you film it than it is about what you filmed it with. Knowing what shots you need to make a story is going to be the difference of your videos going from below average to way above average instantly. Only once you've got this right, then is the time to go out and buy things like gimbals and ND filters and extra lenses and upgrading cameras. Because then you've understood the principle that the story lies in the content, not in the machinery you are using. I picked a really bad spot to do this. The bulk of the video, as in the content of the video, is the stuff that people are going to judge to decide whether it's good or bad. The camera and the lenses and all the gear that you have is just that little extra that makes a video excellent, like all the way to the top better. But if you only have that little piece of excellence and not the body, the story, well, then you only have a little <laughs> Look, the point is that getting a better camera, and yes, I am going to use a better camera, is not the solution to getting your first cinematic videos together. It's going to be the tips and tricks that I'm going to give you in this video. So if you already have the gimbal and the lenses and the accessories and the ND filters and all the cool stuff, good for you, I'm glad. And if you don't have it, that is fine too. Because in this video, we're going to look at how to make your travel video content creation 70 to 80% better without all of that stuff. On this point, I'm also going to say that you don't need to go and get any additional apps to film and to edit. Again, these will marginally increase your videos. They will make them better, but they will not make them. You need to know the basics and the principles of what makes a good video by nature, not by enhancement. I hope that makes sense and I've drilled that in enough. However, before I go into my four best tips for iPhone cinematic video creation, there's one thing that I do need to say about gear and accessories that you do need to consider before you start this. And that is power and storage. When you're filming on the go, on your adventures, on vacation, depending on the nature of, of the adventure that you're on, you're going to need to find a solution to keep your phone fully charged or as charged as possible. So whether that means you're driving a lot and you need a special car charger, you're visiting restaurants in different countries and you need an adapter, or you're hiking in the mountains and you need a battery bank, you need to think about this. 
because your phone is not just a camera but also exactly that a phone it's a navigation device it's a communication device it's a whole bunch of other things that you're going to need while you're traveling and filming does deplete the battery relatively fast so if you're going to buy anything before you go do a travel video with your iphone i do suggest you get a better power solution like a battery bank that you keep on you the same can be said with something like storage you need to make sure ahead of time that you have the space to go and film things all day space storage and space it's a problem and if you haven't uh, prepared for this, the chances of you reaching that little screen that says iPhone storage full is probably quite high. So you do need to consider a solution ahead of time for this. The last thing on earth you want is to see something that you really want to capture. The screen pops up and you have to quickly go into your library, look for things that you want to delete and you really don't want to delete them, but you also have to delete them because the thing that you're seeing right now is better than the thing that you have. So you delete it and then you have to go into your, the recently deleted and remove it again before it actually gives you the space on your phone. And by the time you've done that, all of that has already happened and it's gone and it's over. And now you have nothing. Don't let that happen. It's happened to me. I'm telling you now, do not let that happen. So you do need to get rid of the, the, the storage space or make the storage space available before you go and shoot. And there are some accessories. We have something called Alexa, for example, where you can plug that in, do a, a footage dump, uh, even while you're on the go. You don't need a computer for that. You can use an app on the phone um, like a hard drive. Anyway, this is not about gear, so I don't want to harp on this. I want to get to the point of today's video, which is now to be presented the four tips on how to make a cinematic travel video using your iPhone. The word is story. Story, 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 story story everything about humans is story it's what connects us we are social by nature meaning that we want to share with each other and when you're on vacation or when you're out traveling it is something that you want to share with your friends and family you want to show them where you've been of course you'd love to have them all with you so you but you can't and that's why we make pictures that's why we take pictures and why we make videos of these so that we can share it afterwards the problem is that too many people go and take pictures of the thing they saw but don't capture the story and maybe this sounds familiar but somebody comes up to you and says hey i went away and i saw this and you're kind of like hmm cool seen that i saw the brochure too like there is just no connection to that but then they start telling you, yeah, while we were there, the, the, this one girl almost fell off the railing and the, there was this helicopter that came around and then the baboon jumped out of the bush. And that is the story. And all of a sudden that picture is kind of forgotten and you're listening to the person. You're going, oh, and, and then what happened? That is the emotional response that you want to get out of your videos. You want somebody to look at your short little video of your experience and go, and then what happened? That is what a travel video truly needs to be engaging. And you can do this using just an iPhone. The first tip that I want to share with you is video variety. You have got to get wide shots and close up shots and medium shots and high angles and low angles and front facing and back facing and POV and everything that you can think of the angle variety is one of the main ingredients that you need to start being able to tell a story the problem with the little uh, narrative the little story that i told you now about the person showing you that image is that there is no story in there the story came from the person now you need to be able to tell a story with various images and you're only going to get that through a whole bunch of different angles and shots because if you think about it, with every shot that you're showing somebody, you're revealing something new. So you're showing where you are, what's happening, how it was, how you felt about it, how they felt about it, how the whole thing unfolded. And shot variety 
is something that you don't have to think about other than I'm going to change the angle, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get something else. There, there, there's no need to go deeper into like the story goes like this. No, just capture what happened and use a variety of different shots like wides and mediums and close-ups and POVs and uh, this type of thing. Yes. Let's go on to point number two, which is movement and not big movement, big not point number two is movement and i'm not talking about big movements i'm talking about micro movements emotive micro movements only move the camera when it has a reason like for example you're walking down the path or you're looking you're coming up to a point where there's a lookout point or something like that the movement is just something that I've seen people get wrong when they try and make videos all the time. In people's minds, video is movement. So they get a video camera and what do they do? They start to move. It's like record and I must move. Well, no. In a video, the movement is the subject. It's the content. So for example, my camera's on a tripod over there now. And the only thing that's moving is me. I'm in the picture. I am the content of this video. I am telling a story and I am what's moving. So you have to think of it like that, that the camera doesn't have to move for it to be a video. So get that in, that's the first step. But if we take this one step further, what that means is that cinematic video does have movement. That's where the camera does start to move. And if you don't have a gimbal, which th that's the point of this video, if you are only doing handheld, then you need to keep it to micro movements. You need to just keep very subtle, slow movements because that is enough. It is more than enough because it's not about it actually moving. It's about the feeling that you give. And remember, the feeling is going to enhance the story. So if you're coming up to a site and the camera's just moving slightly towards it, what that means is you as a visitor of the site were coming towards it. It's just a subtle little psychological trick that makes the video go, ah, oh, you're experiencing this. It's not a postcard shot of the thing. It's a, I'm arriving and I'm seeing this thing. So that's where the movement comes in but I really really want you to remember to use micro movements move it slow move slow and small and steady because it's enough the third tip that I want to share with you is slow motion the reason you want to use slow motion is not just because it looks cool it's because like with the micro movements there is a story in it. There is something happening on a psychological level that makes this cinematic. And what that is, is that time is slowing down. You know, slow motion, as the name suggests, everything's coming to this like <sighs> moment. And that's exactly what you want to experience when you're traveling. That is why we travel, to have that feeling, to have those times where the world, okay, motorbikes, where the world slows down and you get to just breathe. So when you're out in a beautiful place and a bird flies by, the bird flies at normal speed. But when you're on vacation, you're like, I'm just gonna take the world in and I'm going to take a breath and live in the moment. And that gives us the feeling that everything's slowed down. When you translate that into a video, slow motion tells that story. So everything that you film in slow motion gives you the feeling of relaxation, vacation, travel. That's why it's such a popular thing to use in travel videos. Don't overuse it like every shot, um, but definitely in travel videos, you can use it a lot. And an iPhone has it built in. So be my guest and use your slow-mo to film things where it makes sense, of course. So I have to move because the sun's gone behind the tree. Ah, where am I going? Uh, fourth part, better spot, okay. The fourth final and most important thing about making travel videos is people. The people, the people, the people, the people. 
As I've said before, people are the story. Imagine this, for example, your favorite movie scene. Anything, think of this. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill, the story ends. Now imagine that same movie scene without the people. There's nothing. There is just nothing but empty furniture in a movie without people. There is no story. And too many bad travel videos that I've seen are like this. It's just the scenery, the scenery, the scenery. But the people bring that emotion in. They show you how they feel about it, what they experience. And it's about you either in selfie mode or POV mode. It's the people you're traveling with. And it's also strangers. Adding in people into your travel video is just absolutely vital. But what has that got to do with iPhone travel videos? How, why is that a point? That's because your iPhone is inconspicuous. It's a secret camera. One thing that I've seen a lot of is that when people pick up their phone and film something, everything around goes on as normal. Nobody flinches. But as soon as I pick up a DSLR camera with a, with a fluffy mic on it, people just like scatter, dive for the walls. Oh, don't film me, don't put me in your camera. So the great thing, and this is why iPhone travel videos are so easy to do, is because you can just film like a fly on the wall and capture the experience as it happened, as it being real. And, and I've just, I find that that is a huge thing. So use that to your advantage to include the people element in your videos. Those were the four tips I really wanted to share with you uh, in this video. And I also just want to say, don't get me wrong, I love gear. Gear, extra gear, new lenses, new cameras, everything. It, it's, it, it's awesome. And yes, it does, as I've said, probably 30 times in this video make the video better but it's not what you need to tell a story it's not what you need to make a cinematic engaging video that people will actually want to see and share so remember it's what you film and how you film it that is more important than the gear you film it with my name is Dean Parman, and you've been watching Travel Vids, the place where we teach you how to capture your experiences. Be sure to check out our effortless editing course where we teach you how to make a travel video using a smartphone. And also subscribe to our channel to get lots more free tutorial content and videos just like this one. I will see you in the next tutorial. Cheers. Whew. Okay, pressure's off because I have this much battery left and I didn't pack my charger. I just went and filmed this thing in a noisy place with motorbikes. But it's done. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give us a thumbs up and a like and a comment and all that stuff. See you soon. Ciao.